Hi beautiful, welcome back. So today we're going to learn how to properly sanitize and disinfect your nail implements and nail bits. I'm going to show you how I do it. I go in with Dawn Professional Dish Detergent and I add it to a clean tray and I let my nail bits and implements soak in warm water and soap. This helps loosen up any debris that might be attached to your bits or your nail implements is really important once i'm done letting it soak i go in and i rinse it really well i didn't show it on here out of the faucet i use the power you know how you can hit the button and it's like a power wash so i make sure i rinse it really good rinse the bowl out really well and then i go in with some isopropyl alcohol and i spray my tray again because i'm going to be putting the implements back in i spray my implements a little bit keep in mind this is just an added step to sanitize in my opinion you can never sanitize too much but I'm going to go in with my manicure brush and a little bit of Dawn. Then I'm going to take them one by one and brush them really well under some warm water and soap, of course. And then I'm going to rinse them. And once I'm done rinsing them, I'm going to put them in the clean tray. So I'm going to do that to each one, one by one, making sure I'm getting rid of any debris or any dirt that can be on your implements. And then once I'm done with that step, we'll come back. All right, so once I'm done with this step, I went in an extra step and I rinsed everything really good and now and drained the water and I put everything on a paper towel. So now I'm going to prepare my disinfectant solution. So now I take everything that's properly, you know, dried and I'm putting it on my tray. This is a nail disinfectant tray. And if you're interested, I'm going to leave this in the description box for you in case you're, you know, you want to buy one just like this. But yeah, I'm going to place everything on my tray and then I'm going to go in with the EPA registered hospital grade disinfectant solution. You want to make sure that you completely immerse everything in it. Okay, in this case, I'm using Barbicide and it says to use two ounces per every 32 ounces. But in this case, I only use two cups. So that's half of 32 ounces. And I'm going to go in then with half of the disinfectant, which is one ounce. If you're using two cups, you're using this tray, you want to use one ounce of Barbicide. Now I'm going to go in and put my tray in carefully. And then so that I can make sure that I mix up the solution, I'm going to go up and down. I think it's three times. Make sure it's nice and mixed and also make sure that everything is fully immersed. And then that's it. And what you see on my nails there is some leftover residue from removing my acrylic nails. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna clean my, um, my bit trays with some Dawn and warm water. So I make sure I scrub them really good and I rinse them. And then I don't think it shows here, but I do spray them with alcohol and I set them aside to dry. And now I'm going to fully immerse my manicure brush as well. And you want to wait 10 minutes. And once 10 minutes is up, I suggest using a glove. You don't want to touch the solution, of course. So I take the tray out and you want to make sure that you rinse everything really well. That's why I like doing it straight from the tray because it has the little holes on the bottom. So while I do that, 
I am going to talk to you about a few things, okay? First, I'm going to put the tray on the paper towel and dry all the implements. Your next step would be to have a sterilizing cabinet okay it's a uv sterilizer cabinet that's what it's called i'm going to leave links in the description box so you guys know what i'm talking about so the disinfectant tray will be there and the uv sterilizing cabinet i'm talking about um there's one that's also a towel warmer which is kind of nice if you plan on doing manicures and pedicures and facials and stuff like that okay so there are three steps to properly cleanse your implements for your clients the first one is sanitize and that's when you scrub your implements with warm water and soap the second one is when we use the barbicide and allow the implements to be immersed for 10 minutes and you're you know you're basically disinfecting them and then the third one is sterilize and that's when you need that um the cabinet okay or the sterilizing cabinet so this is important to know because you're going to need several sets of implements for your clients because you're going to have this cycle where, you know, the implements that are in the third step sterilizing, you're going to be using a fresh set on the client that you um, currently have. Then when you're done with that client, you're going to do the three steps of cleaning your implements and then put those in the sterilizing cabinet and then go on to your next set of clean implements you know what I mean so it's basically just a cycle you're going to be doing that all day and this way this avoids any problems that you might have with infections or anything like that with your um, with your clients and you just want to make sure to be extremely safe by doing those three steps that's how I learned it in school and that's how I remember that you had to do it I've seen um, different things but those Three steps are the proper way to clean your implements, period. So once I, in my case, since I do not have that cabinet, I'm going to be, um, <clears throat> sorry, I am going to be investing in one. Oh, as you can see, all you need to do is replace that sanding pan. It's kind of snuck in there. But I'm going to be investing in a cabinet here shortly, hopefully in the near future. But yeah, I'm just going to be drying this and placing them in a clean cup or a little clean container I have at my at my nail desk. But yeah, that's it, guys. I hope this video was informative. I love you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.